Welcome to the Philips Strand Lighting 500ml video tutorial series. The 500ml built for moving lights. This video targets working with cue lists. A cue list consists of multiple cues, whereas each cue stores the attribute value or preset reference for each changed attribute of fixtures that has a changed value. Each queue has its own next time, the timer for which the next queue will automatically be triggered, and fade and snap time. So, recording a queue list to the queue list pool. First, set up a look you would like to store in the queue list. Then, press and hold the record key at the same time pressing the queue list button. This will open up the queue list pool on your internal monitor. Now select the destination item on the screen. Additionally, if you have an external monitor, you can also use that access to the queue list pool. Queue list may also be stored to masters or faders. Again, first set up a look you would like to store in a queue list, then press the record key and select a masters go or pause back button. This will not only create the queue list and the queue, but it will assign it to the playback master at the same time. Recording a second queue. First set up the look for the second queue to store in the queue list. Then press and hold the record key and hit the queue list button. Now select the destination item on the screen. A screen asking what to do will be displayed. This is only shown if the queue list contains only one queue. You have the option of removing the queue, replacing the queue, merging into the queue, or append or add as a new queue. Updating a queue. First, build the changes you would like to incorporate into a queue. Then press and hold the record key and press the queue list button. Choose the desired action from the record toolbar. Now select the desired cue list on the screen or by using a master's go or pause back button. Your options are insert, which will insert a new cue in front of the one selected. Replace, will replace the selected cue with the programmer contents. Remove, will remove the programmer contents from the cue. Merge, will insert or if appropriate, update the selected cue. A screen asking you to select the queue you would like to update will be shown as soon as you select the queue list. Deleting a queue. Press and hold the delete key and hit the queue list button. Choose the delete queues from the record toolbar. Now select the desired queue list on the screen or by using a master's go or pause back button. Opening the Cue List view. Press and hold the Open key and hit the Cue List button. Now select the desired Cue List on the screen or press the Open key and then press a Master's Go or Pause Back button. Opening the Cue List view. Alternatively, using the external monitor, you may click into the gray area containing the queue. Once you have a queue list, you may want to edit the queue list options. Press the Edit key and select the Master Go or Pause Back button that has been assigned to the queue list. Otherwise, you could use Command Line and type Edit Queue List Number Enter. Once in this screen, you can choose to edit how the queue list responds. You have a Go Trigger, you can change Priority, Off Time, the Fade Time Master, whether you're, whether tracking is enabled or not, the run mode, should it loop at the end of the queue list or stop, playback order. There are many options that you can adjust here in the 500 ml. Just select the option and it will open a pull down list for you to select from. Thanks for watching this 500 ml operational video. Go to the Philips website for many more videos on 500 ml programming and operation.